Hey guys, I am going to introduce how to use YOLO v5 real-time object detection system in Python script. Before beginning any works, I want to clarify that YOLO v5 is not the newest developed YOLO version. The newest developed YOLO version should be YOLO v4. I will attach the YOLO v4 link below. Also, YOLO v5 is based on the same detection algorithm as YOLO v3, so the performance does not improve a lot in YOLO v5. However, YOLO v5's pre-trained model can detect more items than YOLO v3 pre-trained model, and this is the reason why I am using the YOLO v5. Alright let's get into the topic. First, you need to go to the GitHub pages and download all the documents in the repository. You can use any way you want to download them. After downloading all the required documents, you need to install the required Python module. Most of the modules can be downloaded easily through pip. However, you may encounter errors when you install PyTorch. To solve this issue, you need to go pytorch.org. Scroll down, enter your device information there. It will generate the command you need to install PyTorch. When you get everything set up, you can go to my GitHub page, go to applying YOLOV5 Python folder, copy the apply YOLOV5 Python file, to where your YOLO v5 folder at. Then, open the Python file there. You will see the detect function, it is the function I use to implement YOLO v5 detection. Actually, all you need to do is fill in the picture path variable. The output variable is not necessary to be fill. To using the detect function, you need enter your image path. Here is the picture I used, since I want to save my output picture, I enter my save path as well. Optionally, you can change some setting of the function. Then you just need to run the Python file and you will have your result generated. The result includes the object names, location and possibility. Also, the total runtime will be printed as well. Here is the picture it generated. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I will show other detection results at the rest. Furthermore, I might convert this algorithm to my robot, if you interest. Please subscribe my channel to keep you updated. See you next time.